Let's go ahead and talk about the fastest miner to date, or at least the most power efficient miner to date, the S S19 XP Hydro. So this one we've already talked about previously. It's been on the website for Bitmain, but we do have a report on it from today on Coindesk. And I wanted to go ahead and cover it. That way it's on the top of everybody's minds. They can kind of, you know, be aware. I don't know if these are in production in production, but it certainly sounds like it with the increase of the hash rate on Bitcoin. Bitmain says new liquid cooling miner is its most power efficient model to date. The S19 XP Hydro will deliver 255 terahash a second at 20.8 joules per terahash. That's incredible. It's incredible. The world's biggest manufacturer of crypto mining rigs, Bitmain, released a new liquid cooling mining rig, which boasts the best power efficiency among all of the firm's models. The new Antminer S19 XP Hydro boasts 255 terahash a second of computing power at 20.8 joules per terahash of power efficiency, running on 5,304 watts, according to Bitmain's website. They cost just under $20,000 per unit and will ship in the first quarter of 2023, according to the site. Its energy efficiency narrowly beats Bitmain's previous best, the Antminer S19 XP, which brings up to 140 terahash at 21.5 joules per terahash, and that's at $11,620 US dollars. And the competitor, MicroBT's What's Miner M30S++, which delivers 112 terahash a second at an energy efficiency of 31 joules per terahash. I would also mention that CoinMiner's not too far off with their latest Max version, which actually beats out the What's Miner. That being said, I haven't seen any technically available for purchase right now from them either. So a lot of these... I haven't seen like immediate purchase availability for other than the uh, S19 XP, even that one. I'm not even sure if, unless you're ordering directly from them that you can get it. The hydro cooling rigs are designed to be used in Bitmain's own containers. Liquid cooling is a method of using a liquid such as a coolant going through the pipes to release heat from the machine. The firm also announced a new container dubbed the AntSpace HK3, which fits 210 mining machines and consumes one megawatt of power. In January, Bitmain announced the AntMiner S19 Pro Plus Hydro, its first rig to come with liquid cooling, which delivered up to 198 terahash a second at 27.5 joules per terahash. But clearly the XP is going to be much better than that. My question is on both of these can you, in theory, right, because we have the Pro Plus and then we have the XP, if you pull those out and you go ahead and submerge them yourself and flash them with the Hydro firmware, can you get the same hash rates out of them? I don't know the answer to that. I also don't feel like investing $11,000 to find out, but I do want to dig around and see you know, if that's something people are actually moving towards. I know obviously there's custom firmware for a lot of these. I talked to some friends or like acquaintances, I suppose, that do a lot of the ASIC mining. They're already overclocking a majority of them with custom firmware. I'm just curious, how close can you get to that 255 terahash a second if you were to submerge them yourself, specifically the XPs? But these are obviously, this is going to be pretty crazy and way ahead of the game compared to what we're really seeing with the BMZ2 from Intel. Now, the BMZ2 is supposed to be much better, obviously, than the BMZ1, but I, I don't think that it's going to hit, you know, anywhere close to something like this. Maintenance on the liquid cooling ones is going to be interesting. For example, like I really don't like the tubing they used here. It, that's worrisome. You're going to have all of these connections. So that let's talk about like that a little bit. When we're, when we're purchasing these mining rigs, the worrisome part about these hydro mining rigs that are kind of an all in one unit, as opposed to a submerged tank, a submerged tank, you're going to have one pump, you know, basically powering a whole bin of miners 
and basically you reduce the amount of failure points here like if we start talking about failure points instead of a couple fans on an on an air cooled one and the power supply right not only do you still have all that to worry about plus the hashboards now you have every single one of these fittings and every single one of these tubes to worry about as well and just in this picture that's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen additional basically points of failure not even including what's inside the unit as far as connections the actual liquid as well and how all that will play out it's uh you know from a logistics standpoint it seems like a nightmare to me i would rather personally just submerge my own in a big vat and have like that whole system contained within itself so i only have to troubleshoot one pump right that's kind of what I'm thinking about. So I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.